Hey guys, nice couple of hicks here. Um, I was going to do this video tomorrow, but I decided against it because it's 1.30 and I can't sleep still, so I'm doing it tonight. Uh, basically what all this stuff is, this is what we take to the field. Um, there is some stuff I am missing, um, like my Kevlar and my gas mask, but other than that, everything else is here. Now probably one of the most important things to take to the field with you is your body armor. Now, what this has on it has your magazines, your IFAC, which is your individual first aid kit, so if you get hurt, that's what they use for you. It has your grenade pouches, rifle cleaning gear, and a drop pouch for your magazines. This also holds a, a sappy plates, front, back, and both sides to protect you from bullets. Now this is the second most important part of what you take to the field. This is what you get to eat while you're out there. What this is, this is a MRE or a meal ready to eat. Um, this right here is menu 24, which is buffalo chicken. And it comes with flatbread and I believe M&Ms with it as well. Um, there's other things, you can get sausage, cheese and veggie omelet, which is like the worst MRE ever created. Chicken stew, chicken and dumplings, pretty much everything you like. Now another really important thing you take to the field with you would be your isomat, which is what you sleep on. So you're not sleeping right up directly on rocks. And your sleeping system, which consists of a summer weight bag, a winter weight bag, and your waterproofing bag as well. That weighs about five pounds, which is added onto your weight of your pack. All right, so another really important part of something you need to take to the field would be baby wipes. Now, these are more than used for than just wiping your ass. Um, these are used in place of the shower. Since you're usually in the middle of the field or the woods or something, you don't really have access to a shower. So what you use is you use, you use a canteen to wash your hair or rinse your hair out, and you use your baby wipes to wipe yourself down. All right, now I'm just gonna go into a few details on some small things you gotta take to the field. Um, right here we got our nutrition tool or your e-tool. Um, that's used if you need to dig in while you're in the field or make fighting holes or something like that to sleep in. You got your desert goggles, which are used to protect you against um, desert storms, sandstorms, stuff like that. You have your shooting glasses. Um, they come with tinted lenses and clear lenses. They usually make you use uh, the clear lenses to uh, rifle fall with. Then you got your sling, which is always attached to your weapon. And a multi-tool. Now the multi-tool is definitely a great tool to use while you're in the field. Um, that way you can clean the carbon out of your rifle a lot easier. Um, you can take things apart, fix your rifle, fix any other gear you might have problems with. All right, in the Marine Corps, they get you three different types of gloves. You got your cold weather inserts, um, which is used to go with your black shooting gloves, which is what you use when you fall. Um, you usually wear the green ones when it's cold outside as, as well. Um, you can wear those in uniform. And then you also got your combat gloves. Uh, Oakley also makes a really nice pair that have carbon fiber knuckles. You don't get those issued, and they are kind of expensive, but they're really, really nice to have. Now, you may have noticed earlier, um, with my flak jacket, I have six mags on it. Um, on top of that, you also carry one extra mag. Now, that extra mag, it goes in your rifle, um, and you always carry this one, so you have as many as you can. Now, I also do issue you a whole bunch of cold weather gear. You got your balaclava, which is used to protect your neck from the cold. You got a fleece jacket that you wear underneath your, your cami blouse. You got a few, you get two sets of poly pro tops and bottoms. Now, if you can't tell, these things are really, really, really thin, but they will increase your body temperature a whole lot and they keep you really, really warm. And they also give you a fleece watch cap or a, a beanie cover. All right, so they also do issue you a whole bunch of waterproofing mags. Now, what these are used for, like the name, they, they're waterproofers. So you put your extra camis, um, which is your, your desert cam camo uniforms. Um, you put socks, um, candy paint, anything you don't want to get wet goes inside of these to keep you dry. And then they also issue you your Gore-Tex top and bottom. Yes, these are green. These are all you get issued. 
Um, so even if you're in the desert, you're still gonna wear these. They do have desert ones, but I've rarely, rarely seen them issued. Um, they're a lot nicer than these are. But you, most of the time, we'll be stuck with these unless you actually go to Afghanistan, you actually get the good desert ones. Now they do issue you some gear to drink with. Um, they give you two canteens, Camelback, and a canteen cup. Now your canteen cup, it's used more, for, more than just drinking. It's kind of nasty. Um, you brush your teeth with it, fill with water, use that as water for your toothbrush, shave with it, and drink out of it. So make sure that's clean when you get it. And also with the canteens, when you get those things at boot camp, they're going to be really, really nasty. People pee in, pee in their canteen in the boot camp when they're not allowed to go into the head. Um, and same with your unit. Um, when you get them, wash them out as good as you can. You can get some bleach, bleach them out. Um, it's going to taste bad for a while, but you'll get used to the taste. You also get your poncho liner, um, which is really just used to keep you warm. Um, you can put like, some warmth between the ground and you when you're sleeping, or some extra heat while you're in your sleeping bag. But most of the time, you won't be using your poncho liner much. Um, and you also have two different types of bags in the Marine Corps that you usually get issued. You have your day bag, which you have two canteen covers on. So look your canteens when you're hiking. Then you also have your Ilby bag. Now, your Ilby bag is used for your hiking places. And you strap your day bag to the back of it. So your pack is really heavy. It's almost 100 pounds most of the time. Um, your day bag is used for a lot of when you're just doing patrolling. You carry your chow and everything you might need up to three days worth of stuff just in case you guys get lost or something happens you're going to stay in the field a little bit longer. Now the last thing I have here is going to be your, the poncho itself. You never really use it as a poncho since you do have your Gore-Tex to help you keep uh, dry. Uh, most of the time you just use this to cover your gear so your gear doesn't get wet. Alright, like I said, I don't have some of my gear. Um, like my Kevlar or my gas mask. Uh, that's just extra weight you have to carry with you and the stuff I wasn't able to bring home with me this time. All right, so thanks for watching my video, guys. Um, don't forget to rate, um, comment, or subscribe. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask. I will answer most every single question. Um, message me if you like. Um, don't forget, I did set up a Facebook page. So go to the description down below. There's a link to that. And also follow me on Twitter. Catch you guys later.